So most likely you already know what's machine learning, but have you thought on the applications of machine learning in chemical engineering? Let's check it out. What is up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. It's always great to have you back and let's talk about machine learning applied to chemical engineering. I'm pretty sure that you may have heard already the concept of machine learning. Maybe it sounds like we are training a supercomputer or an algorithm or something related towards a machine or equipment that will be learning in order to improve all the output of such machine. Actually, I really think that it's way better if we fully define what's machine learning. Machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence that uses statistics and computer techniques to enable computer systems to learn from data without being explicitly programmed. Meaning that we are trying to teach a certain type of computer to learn from the input. And not only that, the important thing right here is that that input is going to be showing us results or the so-called output. So we don't need to actually make the lines of the programming or the algorithm, but we are going to allow the computer system to be trained via the inputs and desired outputs. And yes, as you can imagine, this can be a very powerful tool for engineers. Imagine being able to give certain type of input and letting the system to learn about the chemical plant, the process, the nature, how the data behaves when there is a certain perturbance. How does the process react with a change of temperature or pressure? Or maybe even some things or phenomena that you may have not imagined that will have an effect in the process itself. Hence the importance of machine learning. We can apply it for process efficiencies, reducing cost, enhancing product quality, improving process conditions, and so on. It will be really hard to focus our attention into all the applications of machine learning in engineering or in the chemical industry, but for sure I'm going to be covering the ones that I have heard the most or that I see a lot that's going on in the chemical industry. But please note that this is a field that is relatively young for chemical engineers and we are trying to adapt it to our industry and to our processes and our technologies. The very first one will be process optimization. As we already know, processes require very specific conditions in order to have a desired product or a product within specification. We're talking about temperature changes, pressure changes, density, flow rates, reaction rates, kinetics, energy, cooling, heating, and a lot of other type of utility services. With machine learning, we will be able to get all the historical data as an input and let the algorithm to train itself to improve the conditions, to get better product specification and to set or assign certain type of conditions or variables. Not only that, guys, we're also talking about being a predictive model. This will for sure save a lot of time, but more importantly, a lot of resources. There will be no requirements to make certain type of tests because we already know that the machine learning process has done a lot of iterations and we will be able to have a final model. Predictive maintenance is something that may not sound that sexy, but believe me guys, maintenance is one of the most expensive things to do, especially when you fail to do it. As you may already know, chemical plants had a lot of unit operations, a lot of unit processes, a lot of equipment. All those require certain type of maintenance, either because we want to take care of our equipment and try to use it as long as possible, or because we want to avoid certain type of hazard or ensure safety issues. With machine learning, we can ensure that we have all the historical data as an input and being able to get as an output the most recommended time for maintenance or to ensure the best predictions for the maintenance schedule. This will definitely ensure a more safety process but also a more efficient process because we are not going to have that many downtime. Quality control is something that also can be improved with machine learning. As stated before, we can give certain type of input to ensure certain type of output from the algorithm. And the same is true with the final product. We, as process engineers, are always looking to improve the conditions of the process, ensuring that the product is within specifications. But with the help of machine learning, we will be able to ensure the best optimal final specification for a product. Not only that, guys, we can use the system to ensure that we have all the characteristics of our final product. Let it be first quality, second quality, and maybe even waste conditions. 
We can also talk about sustainable process design or operation, and this will be using machine learning to ensure the most optimal conditions. But not only that, guys, being able to track all the greenhouse's effects, low energy efficiencies, or simply wasting energy. We could also use machine learning to ensure the predictive analysis of the environmental impact that certain type of unit or equipment is going to have, or maybe even the whole chemical plant. When taking this into consideration, we're going to save a lot of time in the environment environmental issues regarding our process design. One of my favorite applications of machine learning is into chemical reaction kinetics. Yes, as you can imagine, we can predict how the molecules are going to interact between each other, how they are going to actually bump between each other, how they are going to be oriented, how they are going to bind together, how they are going to split, and finally, how the reaction rate is going to take place. All of this for sure with a lot of input data, for instance, temperature conditions, activation energy, type of materials, catalysts, concentrations, and so on. This for sure is already helping the chemist at the lab, but is definitely something worth mentioning for the process process engineer, which is in charge of improving the catalyst life, reaction rates, efficiencies, and overall unit performance. This is for sure one great list to get started with machine learning, guys. But as stated before, there's a lot of applications that can be used in machine learning. If you want to learn more on machine learning and chemical engineering, please check out this video and this video. And if you're into written content, I will be adding into the video description some articles regarding machine learning. For now, I really think that we covered the basics of machine learning and the intersection with chemical industry. Remember that this is not a race of which one takes over the other one. This is mostly a tool that is going to be helping chemical engineers, process engineers, but for sure also machine learners. Remember that machine learning is entirely new for the chemical industry, and we are still waiting to see how this field is going to be developed in the chemical industries, in the chemical technologies, and in the chemical plant. As a chemical engineer or process engineer, we gotta be open to work with this tool. For now, we already know that it's going to be saving us a lot of time. It's going to be saving us a lot of efficiencies. It's going to help us to do some maintenance on our equipment, and it's going to improve our final specifications. But this is food for thought, guys. Try to imagine how machine learning is going to improve your life as a process engineer. Please let us know in the comment section if you have any thoughts or ideas, or maybe you are already working with machine learning and want to share your story with us. I'm pretty sure that the community is going to enjoy your story, so please let us know in the comment section. As for me, that will be it, guys. I'll see you in the next video.